Hey, what's up? It's Katrina from Planets and Potions, and today I'm going thrifting. I'm gonna hit up a few different uh, thrift stores in my area and see what I can find. If I am successful, I'm gonna put a little haul video together. What up? I've been watching them like mad lately on YouTube. Um, and if I'm not, I guess this video ends here. <laughs> show you some pieces I picked up at, um, at another thrift shop. Well, it's not a thrift shop per se. It's more like an antique store that I picked up a few weeks ago that you haven't seen yet. So we're going to get into it. If you follow me on Facebook or Twitter, you would have seen that on the season premiere date of Game of Thrones, I was posting some Game of Thrones inspired cocktails. And I love Game of Thrones and Game of Thrones is life and, you know, Daenerys for Queen. Anyways. Um, so these two glasses I picked up our inspiration of tell me you see it tell me you see it I feel like every time I watch Game of Thrones there's some character obviously drinking wine but they always drink it out of this like goblet kind of shaped glass so when I saw these and there was two of them on the shelf when I saw them I was just kind of like this is what I'm drinking my beverages out of when I watch Game of Thrones for this entire season and for the rest of the series and I bought two because there was two on the shelf and I feel like if there's like a set of something, you have to buy the entire set. If I could give you any advice about buying glasses or glassware at thrift shops, buy the entire set. I feel like if you don't, you're the dick who left three glasses on the shelf when someone could have had a set of four. I just think it's a real rough move, okay? My, okay, whatever, rant over. But I picked up these and I just think they're great and I love, they're hefty, like they are made of glass and they're heftier. The bases are, are really nice, actually really thick. And I just felt like when I put it in my hand, I was like, yeah, what's up, Westeros? I see you. I feel you. I don't know. It just felt really nice. All right, moving on. This next item, I mean, like, I'll admit it's a little weird. I don't know. I don't even like country. I just... I don't know. I know what you're thinking. You're like, girl, it's a cowboy boot with a handle. And I'd be like, yeah, girl, you're right. But I was in Nashville last month, and I tried to buy one of these at a thrift store, but it had a chip at the top, so I put it back. And then I found another antique store for like triple the price, and I'm like, I ain't buying that. And then, you know, I see one, and I'm like, okay, I guess the universe is telling me something. But I just felt maybe this would be appropriate at some point in the future, and I should buy it. I'm going to move on to the pieces that I found at my local, at one of the many local vintage stores in town. My brother's trying to make a smoothie right now. I'm really glad to be done. Really great time to make a smoothie. Moving on to the pieces I found at a vintage shop in town. This first piece here, I mean, it was kind of faded that I found it, and I wished that there was a set of them because I would have bought the entire set. But it's this cute little adorable glass. It's got three different astrological signs on it. Your girl from Planets and Potions found a glass with astrology signs on it. What? If I ever wanted a sign from the universe telling me I'm doing the right thing, I think it was this. I don't know. And also, my sign is on here, Aries. <gasps> What? So we have the Aries, Pisces, and Aquarius all listed on here with a little graphic um, of each sign, the name, the name of the, um, the zodiac symbol that it's with, the dates, and like just a little, just a couple words about it. So for Aries, it says Aries the Ram. What up? Uh, March 22nd to April 20th. Explorer, imaginative, quick-tempered, exercise self-control. Oh, there's, oh, there's a little tidbit. <laughs> 
There's a little tidbit of information to help you deal with your sign. That's amazing, and I didn't see that before. Yeah, so, I mean, if there ever was something to find, this is it. Right? Okay, moving on. I saw this, and I looked at the tag, and it said only $10, and I was like, what, girl? Are you sure? It is a vintage cocktail shaker. What up? And it's got this, it's made of glass, and the top is like this steely metal thing, and it's got like a rose motif. I didn't know cocktail shakers could be this pretty. I'm used to working at bars where you're working with, you know, two steel cups. <sighs> but then you come across things like this and you're just like, wow, this is really awesome and great. And yeah, the only thing that's weird is that when I shake it, I don't know how well it'll work, like how good this seal is, but I guess if I really hold it down. I think it's good. What I also find hilarious is this like little, it's still not off yet, there it is. This little pore spout, it's so tiny. It's like the circumference of my pinky. And I just think that's hilarious. I think back in the day they really took their time making cocktails and their time pouring them out apparently. So I haven't used it yet, but I think in my next vid, I will. Cause it's, it's, it's gorgeous. Let's get, let's get real, right? That concludes my thrifting haul video. I hope you liked it. I hope it inspires you to go out there and look for some really unique cocktail uh, glassware for your own home bar. And I wanted to do it because I get a lot of my stuff from thrift stores because I think it's cooler to hand somebody a drink in something like this versus, you know, just a regular old glass. I think it provides more to the experience of, of the cocktail and more of a thoughtful touch to it. Yeah, so happy thrifting. And if you've ever found cool things let me know hashtag planets and potions let me see what you let me see what you got i like to see different glassware and stuff so that's it for uh for this week's video i'll see you next week with uh something inspired ciao for now guys talk to you later